Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about CookieBot and how to find the CookieBot ID or the domain group ID, which you will need to use for your GTM setup, like your Google Tag Manager setup, because there were a few folks uh, commenting and writing me where to find it because they couldn't find it anymore. And even when I went to the interface this morning, I already, I also had to look for it. So, but I have my bookmark saved. So I think it wasn't really an issue. So I did it without the bookmark today. But anyway, let me walk you through it. So there are two things actually to it. There's basically two websites that also makes it a little bit confusing, I think, because user centrics is kind of like CookieBot is now part of user centrics. That's how I um, think it is at the moment, because um, if you look at about us, page. Let me just go there. We are CookieBot by user centrics. CookieBot by is part of the user centric suite of content management platform solutions. So I think probably CookieBot is part of this uh, user centrics suite, right? Um, whatever that exactly means. Okay. But it doesn't really matter. The issue that I have been running into is once I start a free trial, I start a trial or I go to the pricing section here. So this, this, by the way, is all so we are at cookiebot.com, right? So all of these pricing plans are for the web version. At least that's how it looks for me. So you got the zero, the free plan, and you got up to the business plan of 50 euro, and you got a corporate plan somewhere as well down here, right? And then down here, you have a further differentiation about the pl plans, like free, essential, what does it give you, right? Different stuff, right? Which is cool. So you can still have a free plan because sometimes now when you sign up, it looks like you're opted in into the 50 euro plan automatically and you can't actually switch. So I think some people might think CookieBot all of a sudden got more expensive or there's no free plans anymore or you can't access them or something. I don't know exactly, but I heard a few comments. So. So let me walk you through it. So this is kind of like the cookiebot.com pricing page, right? For the web version when you go there. But now you can also go, or at least maybe that was available in the past as well. You can also go to the usercentrics.com pricing page. So this is usercentrics. And as we know, usercentric is kind of the umbrella and houses cookiebot underneath. That's how it uh, seems like. If you go to the pricing, you now have the user centrics web CMP and you've got the user centrics app CMP, right? So the user centric web, web CMP is basically the same thing that I just showed you before. The web version, the 7 euro one, 15, 30, 50, right? That's what I showed you. And then the corporate, um, that's further down, I think. Yeah, corporate one is here. And then you also have the free version here hidden a little bit down here, right? So you can click on this one if you wanted to. But this is for differentiation the web one, then you got the app one. You don't want to go with the app one because that's for apps and games publishers, unless you are one of these, right? But what I wanted to get to is once you follow through the prompts and you sign up on the web CMP, you always are bucketed in into the 50 euro version. So let me show you this real quickly. So it gets clear. You can see this, right? So I signed up with my email address. Uh, I basically started off at start. I actually didn't start free trial from here. I actually started the free trial from the CookieBot version. So from this page to make it 100% clear. So I actually went here to, oops, to the pricing, right? Of course, was the pricing here? And then I went down here. Oops, where is it? Down here, right? So you got your free plan, right? So I, I either went on this here, start free, or I went down here, I think, no, that's, that's the only one that you can use here. Yeah? So I went actually to this one here, start free. Then it took, it took me to this page here. And this one says again, login user centrics, right? Um, so I put in my credentials. Let me just do that. Just, uh, remove that. I'm not going to show that real quickly. One okay. And that loaded this page here. Okay. So you probably, when you sign up the first time, there are a few prompts that you have to go through and a few customizations. Maybe I'm not sure if it asks you that actually, but anyhow, you will land on this page, right? And then if you go to me here, this is mine. Uh, and if you click through to that, because that's now my organization, right? That's like the company that I've selected. And if I go into here, you will always find this 50 euro thing, advanced web. So it always buckets you into this one here and somewhere down here, I think you can even see what you would be paying. Maybe let me just see that real quickly. Service settings. Maybe it was this one. No, this is not this. I think I have to go back to the overview. So landing back on this page again. 
Let's just remove this for now. Okay. Yeah, let's land on this page. That takes a while. Let me refresh that real quickly. Okay, cool. So I landed on this page again. Yeah. So there's actually no way how I can see that account and billing. Maybe it was here. Can't remember. Uh, ah, yeah, down here. So if you go here, it all of a sudden tells you advanced web, right? And it says 50 euro per month. So I'm now added into this version. They say a subscription ID. I don't really mind or need it, right? Domains one. Uh, unlimited and configurations one and sessions 50,000 month. Ah, so this is actually, yeah, uh, this is this version here then. The business 50 euro, right? So that's what I thought anyway. So that's, you know, weird. Why, right? Why would it uh, bucket you into this one automatically? So even if you go to upgrade here, yeah, you can put your details and then it will ask you to put your credit card details and then you can, you know, go into a bigger plan. So this is though the pro version already that it's bucket you in at uh, the business version already, which is 50,000 uh, users or sessions per month. The issue though is when you land on this page, there's no way actually, how do you now get the free version, right? You might ask um, maybe after the 14 day trial period that might work, or maybe it will then ask you to put in your credit card details and it doesn't work, right? In essence, where I wanna get to, I wanna get back to the page that I usually went to after signing up on CookieBot, right? And the issue here is there's no way from here to get there anymore. At least I couldn't find a way even going through all these steps and going into this section here and looking at all that's listed there so even here geolocation right user management and company details it's nothing where you can change anything right so if you go into here so that's loading really slowly okay so we land here right and then went into this interface there's nothing here analytics configuration some other stuff data processing service appearance okay you can style it there a few things here integrations nice that they have that here but doesn't apply to me and even here i mean data lay. i mean even this doesn't help right so the only way to get there and maybe you can convince me of something else is doing this trick you type in admin.cookiebot.com and now see where you land voila isn't it lovely so now we are back here and here you have your implementation section and here here's your cookie bot domain group id or you can also use this one the same one just copy it right and that's how you do it that's that's the trick here i don't know why it's so complicated maybe it's a glitch uh on their side or to be really honest i have no idea <laughs> but i hope that was helpful i could have made this video shorter but i really wanted to show you to understand a little bit what happened and why it could go wrong etc Anyhow, so there's a web version, there's an app version. You choose the web version for your website and then you just type in admin.cookiebot.com and you land on the right page. Yeah, I hope that was helpful. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It took me a while to figure it out myself to get there easily. Uh, it would be nice and keep watching, keep learning and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.